everyone and welcome to another Rival Stars breeding video. The reason this is coming back is because you guys really, really enjoyed it and heck, I enjoy the breeding too. So uh, I've got some cash to spend, if you couldn't tell, right above my head. Uh, but we're going to be spending it all in one go and that also means I'll be skipping breeding. So if that pains you... I'm sorry, but I do race a lot and I do have a lot of gold. I know the mobile users will be sitting here cringing because I know, I now know because I played a little bit of the mobile, that uh, gold is like the premium premium currency and silver is like the equivalent to gold kind of in this game. Anyway, uh, I did want to go ahead and just skip all of the readings to see what we can get. Uh, I set up three different mares, so we've got Autumn's Queen, we have Asterisk, and we have of course Sporkle. We always want Sporkle's children. Uh, so we're going to start off with Autumn's Queen. So let's see what's in store for us. <gasps> see, I really like that coat. I really like that coat. I'm pretty sure it like either darkens up or it might lighten. I can't quite remember. Uh, but it's a filly. So that's female. That's perfect. Um, I'm going to keep her because she's cute. Uh, I will go ahead and skip straight to mare though because again, I have my racing horses. At the moment, I'm just breeding for coats. So let's see what she looks like all grown up. Oh, what should we call her actually? I feel like she's like a... Can... Is, is this a comment? No, it's not. Okay. I was going to go Chalky Milk, but that's okay. Chocolate Milk. Is that one? Is commentator fan? It's not. I'll t I'll put it anyway because it's a cute name. Let's see. Oh, so she lightened? She lightened quite a bit, actually. I don't know if I'm now the biggest fan of the, the coat. Let me see her in... Oh, she's really, like, in the stall. She looks almost yellow. <laughs> she's really lightened up. She's pretty. I love the markings. The markings are really nice on the face. The coat is not perfect, though. It's not quite what I was looking for. Let's go ahead, ahead and have a look at Asterisk's bowl. <gasps> interesting. So she's got, like, a full, full sock at the back and, like, a really interesting face marking. Oh, it's a colt, so it's a he. So I don't usually keep the colts, but I want to see what he looks like as a stallion. Let me see. Uh, I'll randomize it. Spoon stalk. Yes, let's go with spoon stalk. Oh, <gasps> he lightens to a buckskin. Oh, that's so cute. He's so pretty. I really like him. His like big sock at the back is such like, it's such a pretty feature. He's really cute. I might keep him. Yeah, I think. Okay, he again. I think the horses look a bit strange, especially like the lighter ones in the stall but then when you actually click on them they look more like natural i think it might be the lighting in the game uh but let's have another look this is sporkle's fault let's see what sporkle has in store for us <gasps> oh my gosh he's so pretty she it's a she <gasps> oh my gosh she's so pretty Oh, she's so cute. I think I might have that exact coat, but in a cult? I'm like 90% sure that's the case. <gasps> let me see Let me see her grown up. What, what, is Sparkle a name? Yeah, can, can we name her Sparkle Sparkle? We can, awesome. Let me see her. <gasps> oh, she deepened. Oh, her color deepened. I wasn't quite expecting that, but her color deepened into like an ashy sort of brown. That's so pretty. That is genuinely so adorable. Oh, I really like that one. Oh, look. See, I also had... Where's Prince's Dagger? Oh, no, so it wasn't the same. Okay, his like mane is glitched. His mane isn't usually ginger. For some reason, that is a small thing that happens on this game. Um, but oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh, I definitely, I think I'll be breeding with her or racing her. Okay, so I am going to get on to the second round of breeding horses. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, um, I think we've got, okay, so Gadget Shimmer is selected at the moment. I think Gadget is actually what who I bred with Sporkle last time. They've both got really unique markings. I might breed Gadget with Whimsical though. 
Uh, they have, they literally have pretty much the same stats except for like the track surface. So I'm gonna see what that, 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 see that's the thing, I like breeding in different stats so that the foals will have a good range of like both like track preference, uh, distance. Uh, I only breed front horses though, that's just my preference of racing. Uh, so let's breed these two even though they're very, very similar, but I bet we'll get a really pretty horse from it. So our second breed is, I think I'm gonna switch the stud. So I know that, uh, I think I definitely want to do something with Phantom Rush again, because he is, he's a brilliant, uh, looking stallion. So I'm not sure who to breed him with, though. Let me have a look. So we've got Phantom Rush. Uh, Prancing Dream was one of Sporkle's offspring. Uh, same with Vital Beauty. I think they're all descendant from Sporkle, except for, like, Whimsical is a custom. <gasps> Autumn's Queen is gorgeous. I kind of want to go, I'm, I'm seeing a pattern here where I'm kind of going with the same-ish like look but let me see what happens when i breed autumn queen with phantom rush yes all right we've got one more slot let me see i don't want to breed again with phantom rush i think i'll go instead with um who have we got we'll go with enchanting essence because he's really pretty i've also put like lots of markings on enchanting essence but you can't see them because he's white but that means that there's a potential the offspring could also have the markings uh let me have a look i kind of want to go with asterisk again or sarcasm. I wonder what happens if we put sarcasm in... Oh, wait, no. Sarcasm in enchanting essence. <gasps> what would that make? Okay. Let's breed these two, then. Awesome. So, we'll go ahead and skip uh, this one. Let me see what has Whimsical got in store for us. <gasps> oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. I really like that one. Oh, he's a stallion. Okay. Let me, let me see. What's a good name? Sinister Sniffle. <gasps> Opera Outlaw. That's quite a nice one. Ooh. Oh, he, he lightened again. So he went from like a darker ashy color to like a lighter ashy color. Oh, he's so pretty though. I love that marking. That marking's so pretty. Okie doke. So I did go ahead and uh, set up Asterisk real quick. But then I realized I chose the wrong stallion again. But that's okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and have a look at Autumn Queen's Feral. <gasps> I have to admit, not like a huge fan of this like coat uh like pattern. I'll see what I won't judge it until I see her like grown up though. Because I think that's unfair, but let me see. Interesting. Okay, it's interesting. It's not my thing though. I know that some people will really like that pattern. Personally, it's like a snowy sort of pattern again i'm not a huge fan i love the chestnuts in this game i really do i think they're so gorgeous but i just don't like this like main body pattern the face is gorgeous though the face is so pretty let me have a look oh yeah oh she just like went from lighter to darker okay but she's so pretty in the face it's such a shame because i i like her face but i don't like her body uh let me have a look at sarcasm foal hopefully this will be really pretty <gasps> See, that's strange. Sarcasm and um, the white stud made this baby. That's so strange. Okay, let's have a look at this. Elf Beauty. That's quite a cute name. Hmm. Not the biggest fan of this, like, coat color in general. It's, like, a lighter kind of brownie crossed with, like, almost like a buckskin. Almost. Um, he's cute. She. Sorry. She's cute, though. Uh, I don't know if I'll be keeping her, though. I'll definitely be keeping, like, Sparkle Sparkle or Opera Outlaw. Those ones are so pretty. Again, not 100% on chocolate milk anymore. I think as a foal, uh, they looked way cuter. So Asterix, fo like, foal is actually from an illegitimate father. Let me have a look. <gasps> That's so cute, though. He looks like, what's his name from Harry Potter? Draco Malfoy. <laughs> he looks like Draco Malfoy, but it's a girl. So it's Dra Draco Malfoy. Okay, so we don't have any stalls left. Oh, this is a new screen. I've never seen this before. All right, so I'll go ahead and sell the ones that I don't like. So that's uh, not a huge fan of chocolate milk. Sell. Bye, chocky milk. Your service was... I mean, she didn't really do anything. So she's going to a great home, though. Don't worry. Um, I think also we'll skip to Mare. See, this is grade 7 horse, so I can't keep uh, Dra Draca Malfoy. -a. Make everything female with an A. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, she's cute. Do you see what I mean? Like, she looks like Dra Dra Draco Malfoy. <laughs> That's so cute, though. 
Uh, I can't keep her because like as you can see the rest are like grade 10 she's grade 7 um, I think I, I am also gonna get rid of Elf's beauty I'm not I'm not convinced by by Elf's beauty uh, she'll go to great like riding home I'm sure thank you uh, Draco Malfoy is also gonna go sorry Draco I'll sell it to one of my viewers my viewers will pick what you up at some point okay let's we'll do I think one more round of breeding uh, so we'll go with da, 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 da. so we've got enchanting essence again I might go with hmm could go with truth I think truth is asterisk child so we'll we'll go with truth then see what truth has to offer um, then we'll go ahead and oh no I need to switch the stud real quick yeah, I want to do more with Phantom Rush. He's a gorgeous stallion. Uh, and he's got great markings as well. Let me have a Luki here. I might try... Autumn's Queen. With Oh no, I think I did that last time. Never mind. How about we go with... Sparkle! Oh, sparkle, Sparkle and Phantom Rush. Let's see what that makes. Oh, I'm excited for that one. Okay, and then we got one more to do. Uh, which I will switch the breeding stallion to. I think gadgets, uh, dude. Spoon stalk, you. Oh no, you're a stallion. Let me see what happens if I breed spoon stalk with one of my mares. So how about we go with like? Hmm. He's so pretty though. I actually really like spoon stalk. Sarcasm. Maybe sarcasm. Rich trait. I wonder if rich traitor and spoonstalk would make a good pair. Let's have a look then. Let's see what these two make. Right, so we'll start off with Truth. Truth, let's see what baby you have in store for us. Oh my god, we. <laughs> now that is a Draco Malfoy. Oh my gosh, that filly is so pretty. The it's got blue eyes. <gasps> Let me see what she looks like grown up. Oh, it's like glitched with the black hair. Okay, that's not good. That's not correct. Spicy silence. I like that. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, she's really, really pretty. I love the fact she's got blue eyes. She's like a Cremello, like cross with, I think that's Sporkle's markings. Mixed maybe with somebody else's. I'm not sure. But that's so pretty. I love Spicy Silence. That was probably one of my favorite horses to come out so far. All right, let's go Sparkle Sparkle. You are also a gorgeous baby, so I can't wait to see what full you give. Ooh. Um, again, not a huge fan of like the white like speckling. Uh, I'm not sure what color that coat is gonna come out as though. Let me see. Oh, it went really light. Oh, it's mm, big fat no from me. Yeah, it's like got the kind of black marking on the shoulder and the back of the legs. That's that's a, that's a strong no from me, Icy Cavalier. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to sell you straight away because I don't have any stall slots left. Done. Right, let's see. Okay, we've got our final baby with who was it rich traitor and one of the new stallions can't remember his name okay so let's i'm not expecting much because she's also got like the whitey pattern that i'm not a huge fan of but let's have a look anyway wow that was probably the like blandest fall that could have come out of like two really like striking looking horses uh that's fine like i think he lightens to like that weird like i don't know like yellowy look i could be wrong though yeah he's like he's like a really light bay he's a stallion though he's got good genes so I, I would I would be more inclined to breed with him because his parents have really nice coloring um his stats aren't the best though but that's okay so that was it for my breeding session so we did get a couple horses that we ended up selling straight away but we got Smokestring, which I may or may not be keeping spicy silence who is gorgeous rich traitor who I'm is actually growing on me opera outlaw which is a beautiful like gray palomino cross so pretty sparkle sparkle is probably one of my favorite to come out so far spoon stalk is really pretty as well uh, and these guys I did uh, breed or buy before so they're all good looking beans uh, but that was it for today's breeding session let me know if there's anybody you would like me to definitely breed with mare wise or stallion wise if you can remember which is which um and uh tell me if you would like to see anything in particular there'll probably be more of this because i do have loads of money to blow on breeding and coat getting so i'm very excited uh so 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>